I'm Reem again. I'm 72 years of age. I was born in Kenilworth and grew up in a dairy farm. I had a family at a fairly young age and was working on farms and back around the local shops. I think I've worked in every one in Kenilworth. I've been here about 40 years living here and I like it here. It's peaceful. It's good to be able to live here now that I'm not well because my grandchildren can come any hours of the day. There's about five acres here where I live, but the total between me and my sons own about a hundred acres. My granddaughter has horses here and she rides quite competently, so it's nice to see someone taking part where I used to do those sort of things. When I first met Ree, um, we struck up a relationship pretty much straight away, just from instant conversation of talking about how beautiful it was out here on the property. She's got the horses to look at, she's got a family close by. Given the name of Bush Girl really suits her because that's just who she is. She's very passionate about living in the country because she grew up on a dairy farm. After I broke my back, I was having more, more difficulty getting around. A friend took me into an expo at Ipswich, which was all about aged care. And I kept all the pamphlets that I collected that day. It wasn't very long and I had another fall and I got septicemia and ended up in hospital. So that's where Corinne come in. It's really been um, a pleasure to see her, how far she's come in the last 12 months and the fact that she's been able to remain at home. As you can see today, she's, she's buzzing around with her walker, so it enables her to be a little bit more independent in getting around her home. Corinity helped me with preparing of meals and my hygiene, and that my house is reasonable for me to get around in. They do my washing once a week, and once a week they go and do my shopping. And then in the afternoons, the lady that comes to make dinner gets her out here in the garden. Um, they've got a, a really lovely relationship because of their religious values, and they both love gardening. And it's nice to see their smiling faces and them happy. Tell them little stories about where their husband's been the night before. They find them very good, very helpful, always very good, very polite. Yeah, they're nice people. 